Well, hello, hello, hello. It is... Oh, hang on, I don't even have snow runner. There we go. It's Monday. Happy Monday. It's, uh, it's an odd day today, but I'm back. The webcam is back on. <laughs> Computer is back in the corner where it should be. And uh, I might have to adjust the curtain, but it's uh, oversaturating that orange stripe a bit. But hello, hello. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Good afternoon, Chrissy. Hope you are well. We are back in Tamir for more no all-wheel drive, no diff lock shenanigans, where we're going to round off um, these four tasks. Uh, are they all vehicle related? Yeah. Yeah. So this is rescue a Hummer. That's rescue a Don. That's rescue a different Don. And that's rescue or restore the Voron AE. So that's, well, that's, I mean, that's what we're going to start with. So... I'm going to work my way from north to south, starting with uh, Help Cable, which is Rescue the Hummer, which is this one here, uh, because I have to take it from there to the house. So it kind of takes me along, you know, away along to off the cliff. Hey, here you are. How's it going? Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome. And then from here, it's not far to the drown truck either. So without further ado, we are in the, uh, the what's it called, White Western Star, uh, with a van body. So I had to actually write because it's three of them are you know, like fix and restore. I had to write down all the the number of repair parts I needed. So for three missions, it's one thousand one hundred repairs, nine wheels, and eighty four liters. Because we partly did the restoration of the Voron uh, at the end of the last the last uh, stream uh, just let me know seems to be going into the red a little bit just let me know if I'm if I'm sounding okay so obviously things are moving around in here furniture's gone all over the place um, is this co-op no it is not Sh stream looks okay I think so Nope, if it was co-op, you wouldn't just see me in the game. <laughs> Sounds okay. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, what gearbox have I got in this? This seems quite slow for a high range gearbox, I say. This is sixth gear. You're in uh, 15 miles per hour in sixth gear. Apparently, whoa! Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit more lively. Ooh, ow! Right. So I've got a little tanker. Not that I really need to refuel, but I do have a tanker here. Yep. Thank you for the damage. This was the rescue Ford from last time. Uh, might as well. About 15 meters, liters might make a difference. All right, so I'm gonna use this left area as a shortcut. Basically, it's gonna be really slow going that way. I'm hoping that the van body provides enough uh, weight onto the rear. I guess not. Rather than crawling through all of that. So I'll be doubling, on, doubling back on myself a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, if you haven't watched my most recent video, um, go and watch it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, I did release a video on a, a bit more of a beginner's guide. So if you're fairly new, why not check that out? There's plenty of beginner help, tips and tricks, what to sort of do, what the gameplay loop is. Let's give it a bash. Right. A little bit of repairs. 
I'm going to the Hummer on the assumption that I'll be actually able to reach it and recover it. I might not be able to. I'm just kind of hoping that I can. Out of the middle. Oh, fog's rolling in. That did not take long. Alright, I might need to check if the map. Well, while I'm not moving. I'll just take a right and then a left in a while. Come on. There we go. That mud ain't no match for me. Except for when it is. Right, oh. Mm, it's pretty slick along here. Hey, Afghan. Araskevich. Hopefully I didn't butcher you your name there. Um, left here? Yeah. Welcome, welcome! Hope you had a good weekend. Oh, that was a big hit. Ah, oh, just in time, the rain is here. Nice and gently. I was wondering if a crane might be uh, better suited for this job. It may well be the case. Now let's have a look from up here. I tried to uh, I tried to equip a crane, but it wasn't having it. This is well in there. And the fog doesn't make it much easier for seeing how deep the water is. Uh, right. Let's see how this goes. I'll go back down here. like the number of boulders and is there anything to winch to not really all right if I can oh that's quite the angle if I can sort of stay on the grass ish please I might make things a bit easier Oh, the damn thing's side on as well. Right. Well, let's see, can I have. Oh! I don't need to go any further in, I can just reach from here. Wonderful. The joys of the advanced winch. Get it close enough and then I'll turn around. Oops, yep, I'm gonna stop hitting the desk. Hey Bryce, I'm I'm very well, thank you. You're well? I think it's been a little while. I just seven point turn this. Let's get that on there. A big Hummer. Oh, 
Oh, that was, uh, it's a bit tippy. Might have to, oh dear. Come on. Give me that wriggle. Need to be able to get out of here. Yeah, I thought that might just be pulled straight down. Okay, we're, we're getting there. Oh no. Oh no, I just got myself stuck. Oof, I got for that tree. Right, just get myself properly aligned. Uh, that should be more than enough for getting this. Come on, get over the boulder. You're very welcome, Bryce. Always want to make sure that uh, the viewers are well. They're doing well. Yeah, it says that so the van body on uh, on this stroke. Not, not a good combo. It doesn't provide the weight really required to, to help you get that drive. Which is a shame. Fuel tanker would probably be fine, but uh, this not so much. Alright, let's bring that a bit closer in. Afternoon, Kim. Hope you had a good weekend. Alright, now we're rocking and rolling. Uh, oh, actually, we're... which way am I going? Uh, take the next right, and I'll go and have a look at the drowned truck. Oh, a little doggo. That's a lot of... Oh, Chocolate Lab. Be beautiful dog. Right, is it this way? Oh, that's weird. Fancy seeing... Fancy seeing the two of you in the stream. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a... That's a shame. You do have the cats, though. Oh! Oh, we're thinking about um, looking into a little cat house for uh, for the garden. Seeing as we've got grass out there and things now, but uh, wonder if you had any recommendations. A little cat hut. What's the favorite trick I have um, of this particular challenge run? Uh, that would be the Transtar Forty Seventy A. But overall, probably. The um, cheers, Kim. Overall, probably like 
Actually, there's been some really good ones coming lately. The Atom's really good. Um, the Femme, I really like that. The Azov 7 is always a classic. As is the Azov 6. Right, let's, um, let's see if we can haul this, this guy out of here. I think uh, the answer to that is no. That's, I think that's going to be quite bad. You've good news for SnowRunner, they're fixing the refueling trucks. Oh, is that the issue where you can't refuel a truck if you're in different maps? Is that what that one is about? Oh, wonderful, I don't have to haul it out. Hey, AGL. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good weekend, sir. You like the Azov 6 more than the 7. I think the seven's a bit more like Marmite, because of that, uh, the low riding cap, but uh, I like it because it's got six wheel steer and ten wheel drive. That's the problem with playing that. Yeah, can't refuel hours. Yeah, I think that's a vehicle ownership thing, though. I don't know. It's griefing, maybe. Oh yeah, the Tatra Crane Bed Phoenix, yeah. That'll be good. Give the Phoenix a bit more use with its eight wheel steering. Alright, so that's one of uh, one of the four done. Ooh, that was a big hit. Wait, do I, is it all the way back here? Where did I leave it? <laughs> I don't know where I left it. Oh, there it is. Right, to the town. Right, let's get this a bit closer. And then there's... I don't know if I have enough repair parts for the other one. For the... So I've got this and then the two Dons. And then I'll do some contracts, because it's, uh, it's actually been a while. But... Yeah, my gut feeling is so far with this Western Star that it needs a considerable amount of weight on the rear to make it a bit more functional. The van body is not enough. Right, let's whoop. That was, whoopsie. Oh, that was quite bad. Um, right, I've got to get... we do off the cliff. And... So, what I did for off the cliff... This is out, I was trying to get into a nice spot. So I tried to get the trans star up onto here. You can see where I reversed up. I managed to reverse all the way up there. It took about 10 minutes. I'm just slowly grinding my way up the hill in reverse. Tried to drive forwards and then just rolled over, which is how this has happened. Season 13 is on the PTS bit. Um, I, I, the only way... I haven't really had time, uh, Bryce. I've had a quick look at the the new big truck, and, th and that's it. I, I exited the garage, had a look at the truck in 3D, and, and that, that was it. I've really not had the time lately. Um, nope, that's not the right truck. Uh, but what I was thinking of doing 
for um, for season 13 because it is one map was instead of doing a series of episodes covering the completion of the map was to do one big super cut so it would be like a film maybe in one or two or three parts depending on how long it takes but you know it's only one map so can't can't take that long can it and um, and yeah just do it all as one episode so basically the season 13 film but I don't know if people would be interested in that sort of thing it would be kind of like watching a live stream except it's not live and it has all the dull stuff cut out I'm just telling you about that while I uh, run over all these pumpkins because why not YOLO Right. That's about all of them. Oh, do you see what that fence did? Right, down here we go. The girls have rediscovered the walkie talkies. <laughs> oh, I remember having walkie talkies as a kid. Use it all the time. Uh, right. What's going to be the best way? Actually, what do I have in terms of repairs? I've got five wheels, 400 parts. <gasps> I've actually got enough. I've got enough for this, but then I'll have to get more parts. Supposedly, I, I only have to fix it. I don't have to move it anywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to work and all I can hear is some screaming at each other. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that. We can get it. Yeah, that's what would happen to the winch cable. It would go through the ground. That's this is not what you want to see the recovery people doing to your car. But it's in a drivable spot now, at least. Uh, right, so just these Oh, is it going to disappear when I put the fuel in? I'm going to want this back. It stole my fuel. Uh, right. How many repair points do I have left? 59. Now, the last time I checked, 59 plus 78 is not 390. So I'm going to have to revert to the garage. Uh, the last one, it's only here. So it's this route. Right. Uh, the trans star, I'm just going to have to recover. Which is no issue. That's not... Um, I'm not going to waste several hours trying to, trying to save this. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, that's where that is. Ah, I was looking for that yesterday during setup and I couldn't find it. Where? Right, let's go and get the other dawn. And then that'll be all the tasks done. So what are we at? 21% of Tamir are done. Um, and I'm still in the Drownlands. Right, so I imagine, oh my god, this weather. Can we not get like a thick, a weather patch for Tamir? It's just awful. Or in the new game plus settings, you should be able to set the weather. 
because you can set it to be always daytime. Why not be able to set it to like always raining or always sunny, not foggy? That'd be nice. Oh yeah, uh, we we had the same where this morning for about two or three hours it was torrential rain and high winds and uh, we got a lot of plants from the garden center yesterday and they're all well basically all the ones that weren't planted were on their sides so I brought them in just to not be depotted right let's try and avoid that boulder Hopefully we can get across here. Not too many issues. Come on. You got this. Come on. A little bit more. That's nice work. Nice. I think that's the cleanest crossing we've had there. See, you don't need all-wheel drive and diff lock. The crutches. What's my favorite region in the game? Um, hang on, I'd have to have a look at them. Right, Michigan, Tamir, Cola, Yukon, Wisconsin, Port, Dawn, Maine, Sea Glades. British Columbia was pretty good. Um, I don't know. I just lean towards Amor. And I'm not sure why. There's just something about it. It was, um... It was, it was a big, big challenge compared to... I mean, Wisconsin was... It had just some time-consuming stuff. Yukon was just time consuming, but the more you were always doing something slightly different. Yeah. I bet not many people would agree with me on that one, but. But uh, British Columbia is has a pretty fun map as well. Ah, oh, E. You think season nine? Um, was that Ontario? Was that the firefighting one? Oh, well, that was. It did have a pretty good map. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's repair this. I just repaired myself. And refuel. Right, so that's all the tasks done. For now. Uh, right, I guess we've got to start moving cargo and stuff. So, right, let's activate all the contracts that are in this map. Six medium logs. I'm not going to activate the logging ones yet. That's quarry, quarry, Zimnogorsk. Pathfinder, reach the northern road. Oh, that's to the uh, thingy, rift. That's not in this map. 
Also not in this map. Wish I hadn't have activated geo research. Okay, so what should I do first then, ladies and gents? Cement and then wooden planks to the factory. And then a concrete slab to the farm. That's quite a bit of driving. But I would only need two slots. Tell you what we might do. Let's stick a flatbed on this. And I'm going to risk having a crane. <laughs> I'm not doing geo research. Is it this one? Yeah, it's two cements, that's two cargo, that's two cargo, and that's one cargo. So there's no need for me to haul a trailer. That was my ground clearance. Hmm, it's not amazing. What do I like more? Or oh, we'll drive a diff lock. Uh, diff lock. Diff lock is... It's more useful, really. If you've got all-wheel drive, but it's still, like, tough ground, and you're just spinning the wheels, then all-wheel drive isn't of any use. But at least with Diffluck, you'll get all the wheels going at the same rate, which helps you more to get going again. So you got to finesse the, uh, the accelerator. You can you can easily get used to driving without all wheel drive. It's not as critical and crucial as I think many think it is. It's on it yeah, it's helpful. It definitely has its situations where it's helpful. But um, diff lock is is the better of the two. In my opinion, anyway. That's... All right, let's avoid that boulder. But you can see here, right? So this is all really quite muddy. But I've got weight on the truck, so you don't need all-wheel drive. And all-wheel drive will cost you more fuel as well. Whereas diff lot doesn't. There we go. Ooh, that was that was a hefty bounce. I might struggle going that same way over there. My ground clearance. Oh no, I've got active suspension. No, I don't. So here we go. I might get stuck here. This is the sort of situation where diff lock and all-wheel drive would help. This, I don't think he's really going to do very much for me. No. Alright, if I unpack. Even higher. Bring the wheels back in. Oh, I'm moving. Ish. Ah, uh, am I able to get back out?
No. Hmm. Might have to use some crane magic. No, oh, should put the handbrake on. Come on, little crane. Yeah, we're getting there. Just a touch more. So close. Uh, oh no, have I? Okay, we have to reset the crane. I think you've embedded it in the ground. One side not getting any traction. Come on, so close. Come on, a little bit. Damn it. I mean, I think it's kind of rubbish that that front axle is just spinning freely. It's not touching anything, it's just floating. Whoa. All right, ready right back. Oh, bite down. Pushing it into the bonnet. Oh, this is annoying. It's the front, the front left has nowhere to go. Right, let's just get another vehicle. Urgh. Oh, in fact, yeah, then where's the White Western Star? Given it's on the other side of the riverbank. The wheels just, you can see they're touching the ground, but they're just spinning freely. They should really grip on that part of the wooden bridge, but they just, they just don't. It's a bit frustrating. It 
It's alright, White Star will save the day. So that's one thing this truck has going for it, is that you see the enormous ground clearance it has. Compared to um, that other Western Star truck. Oh, the other day I learned, uh, this is for, for all you American truck fans, that um, the main engine that Peterbilt trucks use uh, is a DAF engine. It's a DAF design. Well, that's pretty cool. That was from uh, where the people that make Euro Truck went to the DAF Museum. Alright, let's give it some beans. Oh, hang on. I should reset the crane. Yeah. There we go, I get that wheel out of the ground. Alright, off we go. Maybe this wasn't such a good pick. Hmm, in that case, well, it functioned well with the, the seismic vibrator unit on there. So maybe that is what it would be relegated to, just doing that. You were the chosen one, NF1430. With a name that just rolls off the tongue. At least I've got all these other wheels though. So sawmill from here, I remember right, there should be a fairly fairly simple, straightforward journey now. And then to the, the factory's not that bad either. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's do this a different way. Let's take a different approach. There we go, much easier. There we go, this is the delivery spot. Right, let's, uh, I don't have to just put the truck into high gear. Somewhat unnecessarily. Can I get in the back of the factory there? 
There's a certain part along here where there's a bit of a hill. It might be there. There's a bit of a hill and basically a truck with um, lift axles will, uh, well, especially without all-wheel drive or diff lock, will not get up the hill. So instead, we're taking the cliffside path in the fog and the rain. Yeah! Weather conditions, just dreadful. Well, I wish the steering was a bit quicker in this truck. It's uh, a bit sluggish for the speed. That was the sound of damage, but no damage seems to have been taken. <laughs> I've, this road would be so much nicer if you get rid of all those rocks. can't see a thing. Well, I don't think I'm going that way, am I? Okay, right, how... If you use this tree in the middle of the road to get out of this situation... Well, at least it stopped raining. How far am I going to get now? It's going to break it instantly. Yeah. Oh, oh I just pulled myself backwards. Oh, there was a tree there. Darn it. Well, I suppose I could... Still technically go backwards. Bring that tree bra uh, back from the brink. Oh, come on. Further back up the hill we go. I feel like there, there are weird things going on. Alright, crane again. <laughs> I 
Ugh. Oh, this trick was a mistake. The cargo doesn't really weigh anything. I can't even go forwards. Oh, hang on. A little bit of... Wiggle steer. Deary me. Right, if I can just get out of this area, by the way I came. I think it is a bit mean that they basically didn't put anything winchable nearby. Right, I'm going to go back a bit. Come on. Right, nope, I'm fed up with that. Different truck. It's being swapped out. Oh, give me give me the garage. Put something else out there. Something that I know will actually get around that area because it has done before. One has it bypassed. Next is the river. Again. And at least the White Western Star is there in case of issues. Might give the bridge a go. It's certainly harder to get onto the bridge going this way than what it is from the other direction. No, you're not too late, um, Deb Red. Churned up the ground there quite a lot. No, oh, I can't get my wheels down. See, you, Bryce. I'm going to save myself some time. How long have I been streaming for? Um, uh, just over an hour. 
Uh, just under an hour, sorry. All you've missed so far, I was just doing, uh, delivering some repair parts to some trucks, that's all. Only now have I started doing cargo stuff. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that'd be such an uncomfortable ride. I don't think you want a seatbelt on, be cutting your legs off with it. Oh, that was a big hit. You played so much GTA Online this, this weekend. You say cargo, I think crates. Ah, oh, is that what you run in the uh, collection and deliveries? Oh, I went backwards then. Seriously? Nothing? Oh. oh, it's just not my day today, is it? Which drug am I going to use for the seismic scanning? Um, well, on the first mission... Where you do that in this map, I use the Western Star. What's it called? The 47X. This one. I use this. And it did an okay job, but it's now stuck with wooden planks on it. But also, this is stuck. Today is a stuck day. I wish you could uh, basically put the crane out and uh, attach it to a tree. That'd be super helpful. Uh, right, I want to push myself backwards. Come on, let me get a little bit of drive. There we go. All right, so I need to go a bit wider, a bit further out when uh, I'm crossing the road here. There you go, if in doubt, jam the crane into the floor. <laughs> It works sometimes. Right. Um. This... Okay, we can go on the road for a little bit. A drink. I think this Wednesday will be the last of the SnowRunner co-op sessions for a while, as I am heading offshore this weekend. 
So if you're interested in joining those, see the Discord in the description below. I'm not going to pick up wood from here. I'm just going to get it from the Western Star. Hoping to finish off Michigan on Wednesday. That would be... That would be ideal. Ah. Uh. And then we're going to decide which region to tackle next. Ooh, duh. Don't mind me, let's make noises. Right. What's the difference between the flat board and the sideboard bed? Ooh, um, the sideboard bed has sideboards. That's what makes it cargo wise are the same. Uh, that's that's it, one of them has sides. So your cargo's a bit safer if you sort of tip over a little bit. But I prefer flatbed because it's not blue. If um, if the color of the sideboard changed when you change your truck color, or you could just make it a neutral black or white, then I would use that all the time. Oh no. Engine's still running. Why can't I move the crane? I don't like that it's always blue. I don't mind blue. If I had a blue truck, it'd be fine. Uh, right. Oh! Sugar. <sighs> oh, it's not my day today. Oh, ease of loading, yeah. But when I use a five slot trailer, I'll always use the sideboard because I'm normally overloading. Uh, no, not that one. I also sort of like the shade of blue of the sideboard is not seemingly a shade of blue that either matches the small crane the small Russian loading crane or any blue that you can paint the truck. Oh, come on. Like the loading crane here is yellow, but I'd like to be able to choose the color for it. Ah, uh, I don't want to have to send a third truck just to deliver two wooden planks. I bet if I hadn't have put the crane on, this wouldn't be an issue. Why well, just uh... ah my mouse speed is all over the place. Ah, uh, this is the longest it's ever taken anybody to deliver two wooden planks before. Ah, 
Oh, now I'm stuck in the ground too much. You haven't played with me yet on Snow and I make a meal <laughs> off every delivery. Yeah, need to need to get on on a Wednesday then. Oh my god, with the if the front wheel would just not be just stuck in the ground. Look at it. That's uh, agony. Get out of there. No, don't roll backwards, you swine. Look how much I've messed the ground up. It's just water now. No! Right. I feel like I'm on the verge of tipping over. I reckon a game that would have cool multiplayer, if 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 it was possible, would be Hard Space Shipbreaker. Working as a salvage team. No, I think that'd be pretty rad. I'd play the I'd play the crap out of that. Right, let's see if I can push. Just got, just got nothing. Uh, just free spinning. What's Apache? Apache is a scout. It's a scout that cannot tow a trailer. Maybe I'll get that out actually. To help with these uh, stuckies. Uh, there it is. Tried it out. Struggled with the movement. Not normally an issue. But maybe made you feel dizzy. Well, I just um, it's like simulated space physics. Which, yeah, which, I mean, I've over a thousand hours in Space Engineers, which does a similar thing. So I guess I'm uh, more used to it, but it's fair enough. But they see achievements are actually fairly straightforward for it. Come on, you swine. Oh. I've really not done very much in the last half an hour, it feels like. No, it's not cheating. This The Apache's been in this save since Michigan. It was originally picked out for its recovery of flipping over vehicles. I can't use this for deliveries. 
which means I can't actually use it to complete cargo missions. Also, have you tried to drive any of these kinds of trucks up those mountains in Alaska? It's not happening. I need something small that can't tow trailers in order to um, do the things that those trucks cannot do. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. My snowrunner skills are just... It's kind of a last resort, yeah. But I wanted something, I wanted a scout that couldn't tow a trailer, um, but that also wasn't super OP for, tow, for pulling vehicles over like the Tatarin is. And I'd not really used this before, so I picked this. With its, uh, with its terrible automatic gearbox. Hey, Chameleon, good afternoon. Hope you're well, sir. Right, uh, but yeah, I'll use it to flip over the Ford, and that's it. Not the Ford, the uh, Transstar, and then that, and that's it. Because there, are, there are places in Michigan that are too small for a truck to get into, so you need something like this. And the the point to point races in Alaska over the mountains. The trucks can't even get on the hills. So may use this. You won't be using the tattering too much, it feels like cheating. Yeah, hit a rock and say that. The thing is made of glass. It's got really good tires, but man it cannot take a hit. The amount of times I've smashed through the suspension and wheels and fuel tank on that thing is from doing really mundane stuff. It's, it's I wouldn't say the Tatarin's like cheating. Why does this thing have such skinny, skinny wheels for its size? I suppose they have to stay within the bodywork to a degree, but... Well, it's, um, it's an armoured vehicle, so... Even if you reverse into something, you won't take engine damage. It's the same as um, the Azov 5319. If you crash head on in that, it won't it won't cause damage. The only way you could damage the engine in those two vehicles is by drowning them. Oh, I've got to take this road again. <laughs> That's actually a good thing for my, um... Tips log. Thank you for reminding me of that, dead bread. You really like the yard, but you find that it falls over a fair bit. 
can't say I've really had that issue. I do like the R. If you use it briefly, it sees uh, 11, I think? Or it might have been 10. Delivering cargo containers with the, with the two slot scout trailer. Oh dear. Snow run attraction moment. That was close. Did I tackle? Sure did. I started in Michigan, where I only used the Ford CLT 9000 and the Apache. Then did Alaska, which I mostly used the Transtar 4070A and the Apache. So, yeah. Last of the base game maps. We're a fifth of the way through. It's all, all there for the viewing on the channel. Although, what is this stream? I think this is stream number 27. And they're all about three hours each. So, that's quite a lot of viewing. Come on, will you be able to pull this over? Okay, not quite from that position. Or uh, I can go and get this thing unstuck. Man, that takes ages to start up. Right, let's... This should do it. How were I able to do the contest with the shitty trucks? Um, well, the point to points were done with the Apache. The one in Alaska where you have to tow the trailer took me about 20 minutes. And it was awful. That's 20 minutes of my life I'm not getting back. Decided to 100% the game, so I had to go back and finish all the maps now currently on Alaska. Well, not playing. Alaska's pretty, pretty straightforward. I like Alaska. What? what? This lo loose cargo. Why wouldn't you pick that? Turn around. There we go. On a bit of a wobble. Come on. Ah! Snow Runner is not my friend today. It's been incredibly frustrated. <laughs>
What? Oh my god, cargo! Right. I'm gonna go up through that man's garden. Doesn't it really help that for trucks like this, moving wood is, uh, well, it's rubbish. Because it doesn't really weigh anything. It doesn't provide any benefit to the truck. Whereas, you know, if I was moving cement, you've got a nice bit of extra weight. Ah! I've got many bits of wood hanging out from the front. Come on! I'm sure there's a road through here somewhere. No, that's not a road. Well, oh. Stupid fog. <laughs> Is that a way? All right, straight on ish. That was close, and you plunged into a lake. Can't find the second Tamian garage. Do I know where it is? Yep, it's in Zimnagos. You have to build it. Um, is it that? No, I don't think it's that one. Uh, it's key building restoration? Yeah, there you go. It's that mission. It's a good tip. If you can't find a garage, you've you've got to build it first. It's the same in Cherno Kamensk and Amor. There is a garage, but you have to haul a lot of cargo up to it to actually get access. But it is, in its position, um, a great garage. Oh my god, after oh my god, it's like 45 minutes to basically deliver um, two wooden planks. Let me just uh, cozy up to that statue there. Eh? Is that one of two? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what's this? 94. Oh, have I actually done it now? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, um, Chrissy. Oh, 
Oh yeah, oh, so that was one I've missed. So I think the other is in Zimnagorth. There you go, so if you want to know where that one is, it's in the factory, in uh, in the Drowned Lands. And then I think the other is in Zimnagorth. Oh, it's that one. Right, um... Alright, I've got a bit of a drive coming up now. Right, so I'll take the road this way. That's fine. And when I get to here... I could take that road to there. I suppose I could just carry on that way. So out here, take a right. And then take a left in oh my what is this weather? It's in the oil field. Ah yeah. At least we've got some uh, mud hauling aid with this big ass bit of concrete here. I'm sure the suspension is absolutely loving that. Well, that could have ended quite badly. I wish the fog would disappear. I could see where I was going. what that was for a second there in the distance it's the, the middle the middle ground sort of workshop oh maybe I should have dipped in there for some fuel only having half a tank left um, so still straight on Should be here, I think. Cliffside Road, where the Hummer was. Just a bit of a safety line on there. Am I a bit too... a bit too heavy? I'm a bit too heavy for that. That's, uh, that's alright though. where all-wheel drive would have come in handy. Right, so what I did before was I carried along, carried on along the rocks by accident, when in fact I should go up here.
Oh, this road doesn't look pleasant whatsoever. Uh, okay. I wish I could see... In fact... Uh, now I can see! Uh, right. It's, it's like getting out of the cab and uh, having a look ahead. Basically, if I drive over that... I'm tipping over. Is there a specific time you do your streaming? Yes, uh, 2 p.m. BST. That's British summer time. Just started watching the stream. I'm not using Jack of all treads as this playthrough started without using them, and it's to prove you can do it without using that sort of stuff, even though I have a few DLC for it. But because the tires are a little better than the base game ones. Well, that's going to be a bit of a risk. Might be easier to go over the top. Oh, it's so gray and dull. Every day? No, just Monday. God, no, not every day. least if I start to tip over like that I've got lots of trees Okay, it's a bit more easy going from there. Oh! Oh! Yeah. All these massive trees, and it picks a bloody bush to grab hold of. Stupid system. That's a... That's really annoying. No, it's really not my day. Like a dozen big trees. Now I'll pick the small bush, thanks. Stupid quick winch. Oh well. Just keep swimming. Yep. So we got straight in the forward and carry on. Oh no, you're not gonna not quite gonna make it through on your own. Quite have the beans. Okay, will you get up the curb? Oh my god. Weakling. Why did I start the challenge? Because something new to do? I 
I don't think anybody else had really done it, had they? I don't know. Different way to play. Having done so much hard mode, I didn't really want to start that again. So, something different. Yeah, those concrete blocks, like the wheel would just travel up. But no, not in SnowRunner. I'm going to act as a point of resistance. Well, at least the weather's cleared up. For now. For five minutes. See you, Deborah. Come on. Why? It's, it's like I've got no ground clearance. It's like the suspension's broken, but I mean, I know it isn't. This is why the Transtar is better than the Ford. This thing just scrapes along the floor. any big trees here. Oh, I almost need less fuel in the tanker.
Uh, this ooh, might be a bit precarious. Right, uh, it's on, but... Uh, Good. It'll pack at right angle. Let's let the truck free roll. Hey, we're on the flat. <laughs> oh. Right, uh, this lighting's okay. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Oh, I'm supposed to be taking a left here. Apparently. See how this goes. Seemingly raining lime blossoms here. Oh, I mean, we've been having rough weather as well. In the, the far east of England. Just gonna hook straight onto that post. There's, there's no way this is getting through this particular ground on its own. One over there. The ground's a bit softer. A, a bit harder, even. That's what we want. Right, and then straight on pretty muddy in there. Might try this right hand route. Oh that looks muddy ahead next to those hay bales.
Check something. All right, there we go. All right. Oh, that was a tough one. Is that hailstorm. It's actually hailstorming. Huh. That wasn't in the forecast this morning. Oh, to the farm again. Two to the factory, one to the village. One to the farm. I see. Oil barrels. What do I... I've got stuff outside the garage, I think. What's this equipped with a trailer? Oh, the CT681. Hey, O'Neill. Ground clearance, though. And the weather's, well, as bad as it is for me outside. Right, so where would I deliver to first? And well, you've done the rocket on a morning out time for the. Oh, nice! Congratulations! It's a it's a hefty old mission. Put the handbrake on. Uh, right, I'm gonna put some cement there. And four fuel barrels. Cement's for weight uh, over the drive. So I could do the farm first. By kind of just coming over the hill, as I have done before. Because that rod in is terrible. And as is that one. Right, I could drive the Transtar over the hill like that. The amount of times you have to refuel. Yeah, I'll bet. You're going to do the log missions and call it. Oh, those are, the, those are awful, De uh, Dennis. That's... Yeah, I remember doing those. Taking the long logs up through a mandra. Uh, I don't want to do that ever again. Oh, there we go. Oh, you did the plane yesterday. The plane's a fun mission. Right, so I can drop two oil barrels there. After being here. Right, that sounds like a plan. Where's my... Why does it just list the trucks in alphabetical order? Would that not be easier? Anyway. Uh, right, so I'm going to come out. Um, I'm going to try cutting through here. That way, because it's a shorter route. Oh, didn't take damage. Oh, it's so damaged then. <laughs> Struggled with the big part. Managed to pull some trees. Like, oh yeah. It's weird. Half the time it'll clip through trees, but the other half it won't. So you never quite know which tree you can you're gonna need to bend it around. Oh, 
luckily I mean I was using the Zix so wasn't struggling for uh, pulling power that's for sure oh that's very kind of you to say O'Neill I'm sure you'd have managed it <laughs> it said yeah that was just immediate karma uh, Jay that was that was immediate we see you're no damage and we raise triple damage But I'm hoping the, the cat doesn't have too many issues cutting through the middle of the map, getting towards the, the service area. At least I'll get repaired. He went the wrong way! Oh no! Not with that Goliath of a trailer. I think... Was that a whole stream, me just doing that one mission? It might have been. Towing it to Erska River and then onto the Cosmodrome afterwards. I think that was just one stream where I did two missions. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh it was a low and slow, that one. Well, this is this isn't very good, is it? Is that? Uh, it's moving of its own accord. I'm not steering; it's just moving on its own. I'm not doing this. See, it just moving. That's not me. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not very helpful. In fact, that's thoroughly unhelpful because now I'm way off angle. Found X videos helpful even in the starting. Wiggle steer and save me. Ah. What is, look at the back wheel. How am I supposed to get through the? Uh. The game is not on my side today. Just stop freaking out, wheels. Still moving? It's still moving. It did get a crossplay update, which I am uh, quite excited about. I'd be willing to revisit that for some uh, four player construction action.
Is there something... Is it just this truck? That just moves on its own? I've not really used it before. But I'm not, I'm not doing anything. It's got a mind of its own. I don't know if I'm going to get much use, much more use out of this truck, to be honest. Outside of a couple of missions, it is just follow this road, yeah. You had that movement on your Tega yesterday, all of a sudden the whole truck flew up into the sky and landed in the bushes. Oh dear. I've only really had this sort of thing happen in Construction Simulator. Where I uh, jackknifed, the trailer then touched a van, and then I flew across the map. I didn't lose any cargo though, and I landed on my wheels. I was in a mandra of all places where you don't need things to be going wrong. Oh. Feels. When you don't need the game to be being the game. Ugh. Oh, the sun's out now. What a weird change in... <laughs> weather is very weather-like today. Oh, I broke a wheel. And most of the suspension. Oh, it's a drive wheel. Oh, there's something I need to check actually do the lift axle wheels have a damage threshold can they be broken losing a drive wheel is not great Oh, they do have hit points. Oh, that'd be ideal. If I could break both of them, then they'd never get in the way. So close. Um, right, back to the main road. I go via the repair bay. Try to get into the community games, yeah, but it's around 4 a.m. your time to me, so I don't think I can 
Ah, oh, that's um That is a shame. It's like are you um O'Neill, are you Western Australia? So isn't there still like quite a time difference between East and West Australia? Oh you're east, it's it's even even bigger time difference. Oh no. Well, this went to a hundred very quickly. Um. Oh god. Well, I'm certainly not using this again. Definitely not user error. Right, I've got 154 liters and counted to get back to the repairs. Wait, I didn't just miss the turn for it, did I? No. So what, what time is it now, O'Neill? I can... <laughs> That's kind of weird. I can hear you from my bed. That's a bit weird. Oh, not a sentence I expected to read today. At least the engine still runs. Yeah, it's... It's 1am. Yeah, and it's 4pm here. Oh. At least the gearbox is fine as well. You know, every little helps. Come on! And all fixed. I think we're back. For some reason, my internet is being rubbish. Are people still there? Are people in chat? Still getting really minimal frame losses. Oh no, we're okay. No, it wasn't YouTube, it was me for some reason. No idea. Dropped to literally zero for a second. Look at that, nothing, I didn't do anything. Um, that was weird. It's, it, you know, it might well be the weather. So what's that? Yeah, uh, so it's four o'clock now. So that would be six, seven, eight, nine hours. You're nine hours ahead, O'Neill. Oh, yeah, do. Not going to get any further when the winch is side by side. Thank you all for persisting. Video froze now to sound. I'm seeing it move on my side. I wonder if it might need a, a refresh.
Yeah, this trick does some weird movements in the mud. I don't like it. You've thought about having Christmas at your place, leaving going overseas. Of coming Christmas. Yeah, double double celebrations. Celebrate New Year twice. But you could fly oh, where's the there's the island in the Pacific where the international dateline sort of just goes around it. So you could be there on one day cross over ever so slightly and then just do that day again. Exactly, so many opportunities for time travel. It's a bit hard to balance the Christmas, it is. Christmas trees tend to crumple if you turn them upside down. So I don't know how that works down under. There's um, a, a cheeky bit of time travel that I like to do where if, if I'm away from work I'll often fly through um, Amsterdam Airport Schiphol um, straight to Norwich cause, and it's even on a bad day into the wind it's only a 35 40 minute flight and given that there's a one hour time difference where I'm going so I'll be going to a time zone that's one hour behind from Europe to the UK, but the flight only takes half an hour, which means I gain half an hour to my day. It's actual time travel. Actual time travel. It's clear for the meantime. Oh, it's this bit. Are you going to be able to climb out on your own? Yay! So we'll get this up to the Transtar, the Transtar will run it over the hill, and then that'll be Dirty Deeds done, dirt cheap. Oh, the crates are already running. Odd sticker. This is this is the strat for delivering around here. Wooden planks. One of my mates got me back into Mud Runner, so I'm playing both Mud Runner. Oh, nice! Oh, Mud Runner seems just completely different to this game. It's quite funny, actually. Wait for wheelies with the cargo on the back like that. <laughs> oh yeah, if I didn't have the crane on, and I hit a hill, yeah might actually be some freestyling. Uh, right. Let's take off both the crane and put 
A lot of saddle on. What are we at? <laughs> I've done 2% today. Hmm. Oil tack. Um, I don't know if you saw what I was doing last week, um, but we were pulling a Voron D out of the pond, and the front wheels were well and truly up in the air for that. Back across here again. Right. Am I able to just about regulate the speed and have a drink? Mm. Oh. Trying to drive a truck, have a drink, and reach out all at the same time. I spilled. Spilt juice on myself. I've got a drinking problem. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get these washed. <laughs> I think um, I put the picture, I think, in the Discord, uh, along with a very wonky wheel from hitting the ground too hard and not taking any damage, and the wheel was sideways. It was perpendicular to its normal position. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Mudrunner is definitely more challenging. What the? Oh. Well, that's not gonna. <laughs> ah, brute force. There we go. Nope, I don't want to touch the bridge. struggle here. I don't have any weight. It's going to be another another job for the Western Star. Um, ooh. I feel like that with the bridge, you can go over it from this side and it's not too bad, but from the Transtar side, it's just, it's just a no. And I've been through the crossing too many times today, so it's all churned up, so everything's just struggling now. Why Western Star has been a, a bit of a power player today. Working this crossing like a toll master. Lovely stuff.
Alright, off to the sawmill, get some planks. And then, yeah, shouldn't take too long. That was some aggressive turning. As was that. More mud than wood. That's it. We just don't need roads anymore. Not where we're going. Just drive across the grass. That was a hefty, a hefty bounce. It's very dramatic for uh, Tamir. Tree got hold of the trailer. Right, I'm gonna loop around, come in the back side. Um, I'm gonna loop around and come in the other way. There's a better way to phrase that. Or maybe I'm not. Of course it falls over. Oh, I wanted to do it a different way because turning around in there looks awful. But uh, now this has happened. Great. I feel like all of Tamiya is made of... Uh quicksand today. That did not look like it was going to happen. Yep. Not content with flipping me over and flipping the trailer and damaging everything. More damage. Right. Try and be quick. Oh, forgot about the gear. It's not particularly pleasant ground there. At least I'm not doing it highway tires. No. Some of the mud in Michigan you can kind of deal with with it using highway tires, but that that would just be I get here and it'd just be a winch a winchathon. It'd be so boring and tedious. At least with off-road tires I can actually like drive. Uh, right up onto the grass. I 
for a for a highway tires run, you would you would at least want the ability to use all wheel drive and diff lock, or else it's just going to be a spin fest. Ugh. I'm certainly not willing to give that a try. I'm not brave enough for that. I don't think I have that kind of time on my hands to do Tamiya with highway tires. <laughs> I mean, there are just some areas that you can never drive across. Like you'd never get to the, the Tega. Why did I just hit 40 whatever damage? Oh, that's high gear. Right, I'm going to try the bridge. It's already a bad line. That went well. My face can remain itchy. I can't risk taking a hand off the controller. Oh, none of the wheels got on. All right, well, if I've got here, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, that spring. Right, it was there. Not that one. That one. I kind of need to lift the trailer. It's a, it's definitely a lift and slide moment. Or it might just have to be a really big shove. I need to get more to the left. Oh, well, who's put that there? Oh, well, up. Ah, oh, first try. You can see, it's a bit easier to do the bridge going the other way. I think last week it was a lot more smooth. I did it once, but that wasn't too bad. But I definitely wouldn't really recommend crossing the bridge from the garage side. <laughs>
Not with something so, so lightweight, slidey. As we're going slowly. That's a bit too slowly. That'll be another mission done. Well, the game really wants me to do geo research. Two to the factory. Whoa. Um. I have not tried to drive in here yet. But from what I remember, it's fairly awful. Uh, I have to come back to that one. No. It's the last one for now in this map. So I think what I might do for now, because I don't really have time to start, actually, maybe there to the factory, but it's all not road. Oh no, actually I've driven this way because there's a watchtower there. That wasn't too bad. I don't have anything close by. Uh oh. Uh, I've got the Western Star. We'll see. Can at least try and do the factory. This thing needs bigger wheels. See you later, Kim. Enjoy. Have a good week. Oh, I'm not falling for that again. I'm going the wrong way. Pumpkins! Yay! Oh, the pumpkins fall back. Ow! Oh, the suspension in this truck is so hard.
I wish I could see where I was going. But... Oh. Alright, I might have to actually use GPS because I can't see where I'm going. Keep following that round. Do, 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 do. I'm sure the weather's just got worse. But the Secure containers are pretty heavy. That should help this thing out. Figure out when uh, when am I going to grab the upgrades? As a lot of them are going to be an Apache job, uh, like that one. Lower it in and then yank it back out. This is pretty horrible ground. Turn the fuck off. Hey Sam, uh, Tamir has been a cruel mistress today. It has been rough. Feels like I'm just on quicksand. Really? There we go. Every time I stop, I sink. I'm turning the headlights on and off, but you really can't tell. Well, that could have ended much worse. So huge, huge impact. Luckily, no damage. Well, it's clearing up a bit, at least. Oh, where's the road gone? 
Is, it, is this the road? Huh, maybe it was. to be careful around here because I don't know where I can drive and where I cannot. I do remember from years gone by reversing a trailer into here to get the um, secure boxes. Oh, you don't have to drive around those. further. Look at those lift axles. Oh, which one of these is actually usable? Oh! I played my cards right. Right, well, seeing as I came in one direction, I shall leave via the other. To, no, I don't particularly want to drive through that. Um, oh, that road completely bypasses anyway. Maybe I'll just go back the way I came. In reality, I think that's, that's the better option. And I'm absolutely, with this weather, going to need GPS again. A bit more thorough this time, so I'm not questioning whether or not I'm actually on a road. And there, there. What are these? These have got to be about five ton each or something, or a couple of tons each. Hey, bigger. Who needs clear skies when you've just got waypoints every 30 meters? Oh, if only I, that's exactly what I need. I need the clear sky shout from Skyrim. That'd be ideal. time-wise, which means I might be able to actually make a run into Quarry straight through into Gymnogors.
Oh, I don't want to get stuck here. There's like nothing to go on. Yeah, tank. It's this suspension is super stiff. It's these uh, dampeners you can see at the back. There's not much travel in them. The whole thing rides pretty low. So uh, compared to the trans, the trans star looks spongy compared to this. I'll have to see if there's another, um, something else, another suspension setting I can equip. There's a way in here. Ah, uh, that's not the direction I wanted. Caterpillar six eight one. Look, I'm changing the lights. Makes no difference in these conditions. Okay, it wasn't too bad, to be honest, for getting the um, secure containers. I felt it would be worse. Four of them, I think, is going to be very, 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 very heavy. Oh my god, it's not... Like, miserable. Oh no, I remember going through there. No, we don't want that, right. We've got fuel stop and a tanker. There is a there's a roadblock along here somewhere. Praise the sun, indeed. Sorry, I won't eh, it'll be foggy in no time. Please require cement. That would be hilarious. Damn it! Two metal beams. Well, I'm not going to need this anymore, so... See, the thing is just moving on its, on its own. So, game, are you telling me there's no way across this? No way at all. No way through this roadblock. Yep. That's what I thought, game. <laughs> Hmm. 
There are a lot of... Uh, this is quite an awkward map. There's the way up to Rift. Up there, that's the Rift Gateway. It's, it's a very long map. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six watchtowers. There's about eight upgrades in this map as well. There's a baby six. Off roader. Oh yeah. No worries, Dennis. Ow. Shimnigorsk. Here is the other garage. Yet to be built. Gonna do a bit of exploring, grabbing some missions. I'll oh, hit that watchtower. Where's the road for that? Well, maybe, maybe I won't quite make it up to it. Oh, come on. <laughs> that steering angle, non-existent. seem to remember this map being miserable even with a... <laughs> well, I'm in for a good time then, aren't I? I can't even get through this. Look, hey, look how deep it is! <laughs> Thanks for telling me where the gateway is, game. I appreciate it. You know what's going to be fun? That river crossing. Up here, there's the upgrade. Ah yes, it's, it's the that for the thems. Pinpoint a road. Oh, that's some, that is some terrain. I'm not sure I want to touch that.
I think I'll stick to traveling by the woods. Suddenly, no traction. Try and nip across, get the upgrade that's there. The various muddy roads around here are, are going to be fairly hellish. Where are the other watchtowers? Oh, oh. Right, I'm going to try and head down towards them. get into town. Uh, hooray. The truck is not ready for this map. I can bypass the muddy roads just by... That's... Wow, that skips so much by doing that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it with cargo, but that worked really well. And now I've, I'm, I've got my own bush to carry around with me. A shrubbery. Next, I will need a herring to cut down the tallest tree in the forest. Trav traction. <laughs> ah, watchtower's around the corner. Right, get back out of there as quick as you can. Yeah, I think there are a few large deliveries through here. Oh, yeah, there are. Um, there's the well, there's the, the drill rig that comes all the way from the railway station in the drowned lands through Quarry, although that's not very far, and then through exists in this top left corner. Uh, there's delivering here to build the quayside. But with the metal and things, I should be able to bring it from the drowned lands. Because I'll need metal here. Can I deliver it? Nope. Oh, oh no, I can deliver it either side. Oh, it's concrete slabs. Wonderful. All because that bridge is out and you can't fix it. Wheel spin. Come on. Is 
Is there no real way across? Maybe. Maybe I can use some witch. I've got a high snorkel. I'm willing to go out with a bang. I've just basically beached myself. Come on. There we go. Okay, there are some fallen trees. God, I nearly failed to just get in the river. This one should help. So I'll just do this with all the cargo deliveries as well. Needs a leg up with that last bit there. I think that crossing went well. Wait, what does this fight? Don't tell me it needs metal. It, oh no, it makes metal beams. And it's concrete slabs, isn't it? For, uh, for the bridge. Oh, it's a bit tight in here. Um, where's the... Oh, it's all the way over there? Oh, that's quite far. Let's see, I've got a couple of minutes. I don't know what that was. This is a big block. Don't hurt me. Oh, uh, I don't think this is the way. Oh, no, there's a path out the back. Ricochet. Oh, 
Some devilish concrete blocks. was an instant stop. Should be able to just grab this uh, last watchtower. Ah, consumables. There's the Tatarin, the mighty Tatarin. That's where the step is. Smashing. Which leaves, I obviously need to explore uh, quarry. Some more, but at least. Um, so how many missions before? Or is it this key building restoration? Geo research triangu triangulation. I don't know what I'm gonna make some dinner. Yep, no worries, chameleon. Enjoy. Uh believe. Is that inquiry? Wait, hang on, I should be able to figure this out. Oh yeah, highlights that gateway. Yeah, so that's in quarry. Oh, that's starting point. That's not even the one I'm looking for. Ugh. Oh, I'd have to do starting point and then those two, and then I can build the garage. Well, either way, that is something we're gonna look into and investigate next time because I need to I need to end it there um, this will be the last stream for a while because at the end of this week I'm heading away for work again for probably about a month so there won't be any videos or uh, or any streams but they're like why is the wall looking red it's red on the camera but it is not this, this wall is blue I wonder why it's red Anyways, yes, so it's going to be, uh, it'll be a while. I'll be working on a few bits and pieces, so I hope you have enjoyed watching me flounder around Tamir today. It's been, oh, it tried my patience quite a bit, but uh, yeah, take care everybody. I'll be in touch on the Discord and on YouTube with little posts and things and pictures and nice stuff, and big stuff offshore. So thank you very much. Have a good week and bye-bye.